Hello, fellow Astrofluxers. It's Sin here. Today we're going to talk about arts. It's mainly just all talking. There's not much uh, visual stuff going on. Hopefully this uh, video helps you out and um, enjoy. The basics of artifacts. This question comes up quite often. It is a difficult subject to explain, especially to newcomers. Uh, even veterans of the game seem to have issues with what to keep, what to do with arts. This video is an attempt to help everyone out, just in general, whether you're a hardcore gamer or a weekend warrior. Alright, when you start out in the game, Arts are dropped by enemies with auras, and basically it's just a purple crate that you're going to find in space. And they're going to, when you open up your art menu, you're going to find all these lovely little squares with different colors in them. These will augment your ship so that you can create more defense, more offense, uh, weapons, shields, armor health, all of that you can augment in a way to make your ship different from anyone else's. But as a beginner, a rule of thumb would be to keep your top five arts of every category. That will be 175 arts in your 250 art capacity, leaving you 75 arts to play with. That means that you can pick up 75 arts and recycle them at will. And what you want to do is change out your arts so that you always have your top five. As you progress through the game, you're going to pick up better arts. It's just going to happen. You're going to want to get rid of your lower arts as you progress. It just It's just a fundamental of the game. And it's really hard to let go of some of those arts that you, that you found that you're like, oh, this art is great. I want to keep this art. And eventually you're going to find a better art than that. It's just the way the game works. So you definitely want to remove your arts as you go and keep putting in the best arts for each category and that's basically what you want to do a few moments later so let's get to the basics obviously this is the uh, artifact window uh, i have 15 setups to choose from right now i'm on setup seven which is empty so that i can basically just go over some of the basics and setups are great because you can experiment with with setups. Uh, so let's 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 do that. So this is the sorting menu, and you can actually sort by what kind you want. So let's say I want to start by putting my resist on. So there's part of my build, and now I can go to the next one and sort. And let's say let's let's think about this. What do I want to do? I'll, let's go ahead and put some maybe some shield. And this is just a play, right? And I'm experimenting. And uh, I can keep going through, and let's say maybe I've, I'm going to want to do an energy damage. So now I'm just experimenting with what would work here. And now it looks like I've got damage. I've got some shield. Oh, it looks like I'm going to need some health. Let's uh, maybe do an armor hardener. Yeah, let's put some armor on there. And maybe some more damage. So let's see, we're doing energy, right? So let's throw another energy on there. And this is how you can play with your arts without screwing up an, an already existing setup. Like I can go to number two, and this is my flat damage build for my medic. So you've got the basics down. You understand what an art setup is, and now you want to start collecting arts and you've been in the game for a while and you're between levels 50 and 100. This guide is a loose guide of what to, to look for when you pick up an art. If it falls within this guideline, you want to keep that art. If it does not fall within this guideline, just recycle it. Now, there are exceptions to this rule. If it's within your five highest of each type of art, let's say if it's in a percent damage and it's within your five highest arts, keep it. 
If it's not, throw it away. One eternity later. So what are you looking at when you're looking at this? You have players between levels 100 and 120. You have players between 50 and 100. You have five categories. You have increased attack speed, percent damage, flat all damage, conversions, and percent all damage. I did not include health, armor, and shield because typically you would just keep the five highest of each of those categories anyways. And really there is no simple guideline to those since it is kind of depends on your ship and a, a number of factors. So th I did not include those on this guideline. Typically what you would want to do is if it does not meet any of these guides, if you fall between levels 50 and 100 and you find a single line 80% art, you want to keep it. If it's below, if it's 60%, go ahead and get rid of it. That art will not upgrade to anything higher than 85 to 90%. If you can already find an art that's at 80% or higher, you're already better off and you've already, you haven't wasted your time trying to upgrade an art that's started at 60% and it's just now getting to 80% at upgrade 8. It's just not worth your time. So this is basically just a simple guide to help you find certain arts. Now, what not to keep? Any art that has a spread of more than 25 levels, meaning between its level and potential level. except when the requirements are met above. If it's more than 25 levels and it meets 90% damage, keep it. If it does not make the 90% damage, if you're on this, if you're in this category of 100 to 120, then you would throw it away. It's just not worth the time to upgrade it if it doesn't hit this requirement. Now again, this is all subjective. It's your call in the end. But uh, the reason why I say it's your call is because you might feel a little bit different. You might go with the luck. The reason why is 99% of the arts will never reach their potential if they have more than 25 levels between its base level and its potential level. And I know this because for the last six months to a year, I have recorded all of my art upgrades. These are all the upgrades I have done for the last six months to a year. I have tracked every single art that I have upgraded. And the average levels gained over the last six months to a year on all of these arts was only 19.1. I say 25 to give it a buffer. That, that buffer is 25 levels and I'll show you why. Let's go back here to one I did as an experiment only just to sort of show show off what happens. Here we go. I had a 35.9% all resist. It started at level 44 and its potential was 101. It ended at 50% all resist. It only went up 19 levels. So it only gained 14% over its lifetime. That is nowhere near meeting its potential level. It didn't even go up 25 levels. Technically, I should have just erased this art from the get-go. But I wanted to just test it out and see how far an art would go that had this big of a spread. And ultimately, it wasn't worth my time. I wasted probably a week to two weeks upgrading this, and it really wasn't worth it. Two hours later. In the description below, I will have links to both this guideline chart and my upgrade chart. To read my upgrade chart so you can just understand what you're looking at, I have labeled all of the rows on the on the far left of the of the chart. 
basically of your art type, what crew member, my crews are listed at the bottom, my starting numbers, or the category, meaning what if it's a kin damage, rate of fire, whatever, its levels, its starting level, and its potential. Then it goes to each upgrade and increased level. And at the bottom, you'll have like if it was a, a multi line, uh, typically if it's in red, it means it's a total of all these categories. And of course, you have your totals at the bottom. Now, there's quite a few in here. It really gives you a good breakdown of what is happening when you're upgrading art. You can see an average. So if you find an art that's on the borderline of this category and you're really not sure, you can come over and take a look at this chart and say, okay, I've got a an all damage, it's 179. According to this chart, it, since I'm a level 120, it doesn't meet my guideline. But I went with my gut because it was it could go further. So I was like, let's try it out. And sure enough, on its first upgrade, it went 22.9. And then it just sort of averaged at 3.5 for the next three. And then it went up to a 4.2 and then back to 3.5. And then all of a sudden it hit a seven at the bottom. It topped out at 237.6 alt damage. Not the highest. I could have thrown away this art, but I just wanted to see what it could do. And I didn't really lose all that much time upgrading it to see what would happen. And you could fall in the same thing. There's a lot of arts in here. I've tried to upgrade every kind of art in the game. There's a speed art here. There's shield. There's shield HP, energy, increased power regen. I've sort of tried to grab everything. Uh, here's reduced cooldown, armor. Again, I tried to grab everything so that there is, there is some sort of a guide to look at, especially if you don't know about an art, especially if it's borderline on this guideline. And again, these both will be provided in the description below, and hopefully I've explained everything all right. If not, please leave a comment, ask a question. If you see me in a game, ask me a question about it, I'll, I'll, I'll try to help you out as best I can. Again, thanks for watching. I've had a lot of fun making these videos for the past year, and I'll talk to you guys all later. See you in game. Okay. Make a drink of water. Okay. Burp a little bit. Mmm, burping. Burp, 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 burp. Unique New York. Unique New York. The skeleton was denied a bank loan. The flaming torch was denied a bank loan. Okay. Hello, fellow astroflux. Oh my god, my <laughs> Then pull my mic down. My, my, blah, 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 blah. All right, three, two, one. Started at 65. Uh, oh, goodness.